Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we will learn about the second testing type that is non-functional testing. So, what is non-functional testing? So, non-functional testing considers the external behavior of the software. We talked about functionality as what the software is supposed to do as per its requirement. That is how we define the functionality of the software. Now, in non-functional, we are more interested about how well the system works rather than what the system does. So, this is how part. So, let us learn more about it. So, the first point about non-functional testing. Like functional testing, it also examines the documented and undocumented non-functional requirements. And what are these non-functional requirements? They are reliability, efficiency, usability, maintainability and portability. These are called non-functional characteristics of a software product. So, these non-functional aspects will have to be tested during or using a type of testing that is called non-functional testing. So, the first point about non-functional testing is it examines documented and undocumented non-functional requirements such as reliability, efficiency, usability, maintainability and portability. We will talk about them. And the second point about non-functional testing is that the objective of non-functional testing is based on measurable requirements specified in your requirement document. Every requirement document if at all somebody writes, they will have one aspect called functional requirements, another aspect called non-functional requirements. So, they will be specified in a very measurable manner like uh, let us say if you are talking about a performance requirement of a software, they will specify very clearly under such and such load with when the software is used on a particular CPU and memory, the response time should be less than such and such time. That is how they specify non-functional requirements. So, the objectives should be based on measurable requirements. So, when we are performing a non-functional testing, we are measuring and comparing whether as per the requirement, the measurements actually are happening. So, that is how we do non-functional testing. So, the third point about non-functional testing, it may be performed during any and all aspects of testing, component testing, integration testing, system testing and acceptance testing. So, non-functional testing can be performed at any level. In fact, developers do a lot of tests, dynamic analysis type of tests to ensure that performance of the system is kind of built from very beginning. So, it can be performed. Do not assume that non-performance type of testing can be only done during system testing or non-functional type of testing should be done very early in the life cycle. And the fourth point about non-functional testing is it includes performance testing, load testing, stress testing and security testing which are often performed by experienced specialists. So, one of the primary type of non-functional testing is performance testing that is whether the system is responding to simultaneous requests in a proper way or not is it not going very slow when lot of requests are coming at the same time. So, that is what we call performance testing and based on the nature of performance testing, we talk it about as load testing. Whenever we are loading the system as per the design of the system, then meaning we are doing a very positive performance testing, then we categorize it as load testing. If the system is designed for 1000 users load at a peak time. So, I am subjecting during my load testing only 1000 users and for a brief time during the peak time only and measuring whether it is doing as per its requirement or not. Then we I call it as load testing. Why I am calling it as load testing? I am, uh, I am giving a load to the system as per its design. Now, what is stress testing? Stress testing is a negative kind of 
performance testing. So I will stress the system. If the system is designed for 1000 concurrent users on a peak kind of time, I will exceed that limit. Instead of 1000, I will give it for 10,000 users. I am stressing the system by increasing the concurrent usage load. And also the peak time is only for 3 hours. I will subject that kind of stress for 24 hours. So those kind of performance tests are called stress testing. So we do performance testing and whenever we talk about performance testing, we are talking about load testing sometimes. We are talking also about stress testing and the security testing. Nowadays all web applications in the digital world, the security has become extremely important. And usually all this type of testing is done by very experienced specialists. So let us look into these characteristics, non-functional characteristics of software and how non-functional testing type addresses them. So understand about the first point that is we call reliability. What is reliability of a software? So reliability is the capability of the software product to perform its required functions under stated conditions for a specified period of time or for a specified number of operations. So reliability, usually we express using a unit of measure called MTBF, mean time between failures. So how well the software is operating under a specified time under specified conditions. Let's say you have a software, you have tested it for 1000 hours or used it for 1000 hours and you haven't experienced a single failure. So 1000 hours time, this software did not fail. Zero times only it failed. Let's say there is another software, software B. Again, 1000 hours it has been used and it failed five times. So which is more reliable? The software which has failed five times is less reliable than the software that has failed zero times between this thousand hours. Let's say we have used another thousand hours the software A. So what happened? This let's say the software A failed two times and the software B another thousand hours you have used. It failed another five times. So what is the mean time between failure for software A? It has failed two times in 2000 hours. That is one is the mean time. If you take it as thousand hours, one failure is happening for software A. What is happening to the software B? If you take the mean time as thousand hours, every thousand hours it is failing five times. So which is more reliable? So that aspect we have to test it. So that can be done using metrics like failure rates, time to find defect and any software for which time to find defect is large that is more reliable. So reliability is one important aspect as testers you will be checking and measuring about a software. The second non-functional feature of a software is portability. So what is portability? Portability is the capability of the software product to be transferred from one operating environment to another within a reasonable time or a reasonable cost. So that is what how we define portability. Let's say I built a software which runs on a Linux operating system with MySQL database as a platform. Now I want this software also to work under Windows server software with SQL server database. So how easily I am able to port this software to work in a different operating environment. If it is easy, I tell it is more portable. If it is difficult, it is less portable. So that aspect is called portability. Let us take an example. Let us say take a software designed by a team. Let us say software A. They have designed it for Linux and MySQL environment. And a customer asks them to port it to a Microsoft operating system with SQL Server database and they took one month to do that. And another software that is designed by another team, software B, same software, they designed differently. Now customer asks them to port it from Linux and MySQL to MS, MS software with 
SQL Server database. They took six months. So which one is more portable? Software A is portable because the ease with which they are porting, they are able to do it in reasonable time and at a reasonable cost. That is why it is portable. So that aspect we must test before the software is released to the market. That aspect is called portability testing. So keep that in mind. The third very important aspect is usability. So what is usability? Usability is the capability of the software product to be learned, understood and used by users under normal operating conditions. How intuitive the software is for an end user. How easily they are able to use. That aspect is called usability. So it is a very important aspect for the web applications. Imagine you have two sites through which you can book railway tickets and one of the sites it, it performs well, it functions well, you can book a ticket but to perform your task the user interface is not very intuitive, you are taking 25-30 minutes to book your ticket and another site serving the same purpose of booking a train ticket, you can, it is very intuitive, you can book it in a matter of 2-3 minutes and even non-technical users are able to easily use it. So which is more usable? The second one is more usable and that is a very important aspect of a good quality software. So usability is another non-functional characteristic of software. So keep that in mind. The fourth one is maintainability. So what is maintainability? The capability of the software product to be modified within a reasonable cost. Ease with which we are able to change the software that indicates the maintainability of the software. I have built a software in a particular way. Let's say team A has built software A and same software has been built by a team B, the same software A. So two teams, team A and team B have built the same software using different approach and the customer has changed some important requirements and features of the software after they built all the software. So team A took six months to incorporate these changes, team B incorporated it in 15 days. So who has built more maintainable software? Yes, team B has built more maintainable software, ease of change. They designed the software in such a way that they are able to incorporate changes in a reasonable time and cost. That is what is called maintainability and that aspect also will have to be tested before the software is released to the market. A good software has to be highly maintainable, means it has to be built in such a way that it is very easy to incorporate changes to that software. That is our fourth characteristic. And the fifth characteristic is efficiency. So what is efficiency? Efficiency is the capability of the software product to provide appropriate performance relative to the amount of resources used under defined conditions. This is more about performance. I am using a particular type of CPU. I am using a particular amount of memory. And within that, what performance I am able to achieve. So that is called efficiency. This all comes under the type of testing that is performance type of testing. Performance testing not only measures response times and uh, throughputs, it also analyzes the CPU usage, memory usage. So within the available resources, how efficiently I have designed my system that I am achieving my performance. So this is also very important characteristic, non-functional characteristic of a software. So using non-functional test types, we have to address all these five characteristics as we do testing. So hope you have understood non-functional testing before we conclude this lesson. Let us compare our functional type of testing with non-functional testing using this question. So please read the question. So I have functional, non-functional as two columns. So I have a certain requirements I have specified there. So you have to tell me whether it is a functional type of requirement or it is a non-functional requirement. So let us read it. The first one, what does it say? The software should function 
on any PC with a Windows operating system. So it is a is it a functional requirement or non-functional requirement? Let's read again. The software should function on any PC with a Windows operating system. So I have developed a software. It has to work on any PC, any hardware. Maybe the, it is a Dell PC or a IBM PC or laptop from whatever company. So it has to work. So what is that really we are talking? We are talking about portability issue of the software that we are testing. So it comes under non-functional testing. You are right. Let us read the second requirement. The software should be operated by someone who used the prior release without training. <coughs> that is the requirement. So what is this requirement? Is it a functional requirement or non-functional requirement? Yes. This requirement is talking about ease of use of the software that is being tested. So that is non-functional testing and again this is usability type of testing. The third one is the website should allow member access to all functions after a successful login. What is this? It is what the software is supposed to do. So it is it comes under functional testing. It is a functional characteristic of the software. So it, we need to do functional testing. The fourth one, the print command sends the document to the system's default printer. Again, what is this? This is functional. So it needs functional type of testing. The fourth, one, fifth one is the website should allow image download in 0.5 seconds for a 2 MB file for users with a broadband connection. So what is it really specifying? It is talking about performance characteristic of the software. So it comes under functional or non-functional. Yes, you are right. It is non-functional. And the last one is the point of sale system should send data from each register to the database hourly for a backup. So this characteristic or this requirement, does it sound as a non-functional requirement or does it sound like a functional requirement? It is talking about what the software is supposed to do every hour for a backup purpose. So it comes under functional testing. So now you have understood what is functional type testing and non-functional type testing. So hope you have understood well. For any questions, please use the discussion forum and I will be answering your questions. So learn and have fun.